This is Dennis Williams, the creator of CashMap Pro. And whether you are considering purchasing CashMap Pro or you have recently purchased it, I want to thank you for your interest in keeping your dollars working 24-7. In this video, part one of two, we'll give you a quick overview of the application so that you can begin with confidence learning how to use the application where you can create your personalized cash maps and seeing how you can save thousands of dollars. When you first open the application, you may very well see for the first time the resume purchase in the bottom. This is reflective in the settings uh, section of the application in which it shows you that you purchased the application and if you have purchased a subscription, how long your subscription will last. Next, if you're wanting to know just a real quick overview of using Cash Map, if you're new to it, you'll see this How to Cash Map um, set of directions that you can use. You're going to be looking at using the product in order, so we're going to start with Cash Flow. And in Cash Flow, you'll see um, the arrow at the bottom that shows you where you are when you push that. And then up in the top left is the menu that you'll use, and you'll see what the menu items here on your right. As we start going through the application, you'll start with income. And you'll see in the section on the right, for each income area, you're going to put your actual paycheck that you get that you're depositing, whether it be for you or if you have two different jobs, those will be two different paychecks that you use in the field. Next, you do the same thing with loans, your lines of credit, your credit card payments, living expenses, you have two options. Either providing what your expenses are in broad categories to keep it simple and fast, or if you want additional detail, you'll click the button there on the right, and you'll see the additional detail come forward that you can be much more focused in your categories in your budget. You'll also notice that you have the ability of actually typing in a formula and having the ca answer calculated. You'll see in the top green at the top, um, in each of the sections, what your cash flow is as a result of each of your entries. And in this example, we start here in which no after-tax savings have been added. And in this example, we've added $100 a month. And so you can see how the, the cash flow has dropped by $100. Next. For each of your budget items, you can end up creating a budget that you can save so you don't have to worry about going in and entering it twice. So in this example, we've entered what that, what that file will be called, and you'll see that it shows up there on the bottom that has been saved, and for each of the maps that you end up creating, you can save those maps for later reference. Next, we'll now move to the cash map section that creates the maps. You've got five different categories to choose from, and you'll start in order and proceed through each one. Lastly, there's settings, from feedback to sending data in the event there's a problem, to the purchase, which we talked about, and then if you wish to clear out all your data, reset all. So for cash map feedback, I'd love to get your feedback. I'd love to know what you like and what I can do to make it more user-friendly. If there's data, you just that we need in order to see what might have gone wrong, just push that particular button and then email it to us and we will then get back to you. And lastly, if you want to clear out all the data, you can push the reset all data button, you'll get this warning before you hit it, and you'll reset it and start over. I want to thank you for joining me for part one of this series.